Okay, I'm sitting with three powerhouses, <laughs> and this is because, and I'm going to let Ariel do the talking, because we stopped you, Tom and I, the other day and said, oh, we saw this picture on social yes. media, all these sports women, reporters, anchors yes. together. Yeah, it was, it was really incredible, but it's actually because of Susie. So this is Susie Ward, and we have Taylor McGregor here as well. Uh, but I feel like we should probably start with Susie. Just kind of tell us a little bit about how this all came together, because I was just a guest, and I was just a part of this and a great recipient of all this. Yes, no, it was a lot of fun. So because, um, well, as you know, Kim, we're not getting any younger, and so I'm kind of one of the <laughs> older sports women in our market, and I have a lot that You were, were only 12 when you were at 9 years, exactly. just saying. Yeah. <laughs> 2001, 12 years old. Um, no, but I just... We, we have a lot of great women in our market, and there were a couple that wanted to, somebody was asking if I knew anything about basketball opportunities, and I'm like, oh, do you know so-and-so? And no, I don't. So I was going to start making these connections, and then I'm like, you know what? Let me just get everybody together. So I asked a couple gals, I said, if I organize this little get-together thing, would you come? And so we kind of figured out a good day to do it, and then I just invited everybody else. And everybody came, and it was awesome. It was a picture. It was right there. That's, yeah, that's it the was whole, so fun. That's the whole group right there. And what I really thought was amazing was that you know you had someone you had someone as young as Ruby Kaiser right there in the pink coming and out of CSU. Coming out yes. of CSU, she's still a student there, trying to do her work there. And then you have you know someone like Taylor McGregor right here, who mm -hmm. has been doing this for as many years as you have. But you're just at the, you are right now kind of at the top of your game, and you are able to be in that room and to share your expertise with her. I mean. What did you think to be in that room to be able to share it? Well, for me, it's really cool to be in a room with Susie because I grew up watching her. <laughs> and to me, I wouldn't be here without women like Susie um, because without seeing women doing sports on TV, I'm not sure I would have dreamt up this career path for myself. So it's always so humbling for me to, to be in the same room as you and, and to be able to share what I've learned um, with the younger generation and then just to be able to relate to people who who get the schedule, who get the lifestyle <laughs> is really important. And I think anybody in any form of work can understand, you know, there's pros and cons and you deal with certain things. And so to be able to relate to a certain group of people is important. And then you can share stories and how can we help each other and how can we build each other up through all of this. And uh, one thing with sports, it's a lot of time away from family. So we definitely spend a lot of time talking about kind of how you balance it all. That's a thing that struck me, is you said how great it was to get together, because so many times people in the outside world think of each other, think you're competitors. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. That you guys are, oh, I'm going to try to beat this person or that mm -hmm. person. Not true. No, it's not. And I think the most remarkable thing is that we had women who were just my competitors from across the street. Mm -hmm. from the other from the other local stations right there and you know I'm not going to share my breaking news tips with them but um, but, but you other, can share your experiences but, uh, but yeah. that's exactly right but other than that I mean that simple thing aside we're we're all in this together yes and we really are just friends in this and we really do want to just lift each other up and be there for each other and one thing I thought was pretty also remarkable that you could really relate to and that Susie you were, you were there to relate to this is that there were a lot of women there that were mothers mm -hmm. and they really just needed mm -hmm. that support system to just kind of help each other out you know that's not something that I can can help out with but I could just at least empathize with that but well, and, and changed over the years huh it <laughs> has oh it totally has and we mm -hmm. talked a little bit about that about when you know when you and I had our kids I mean it was there were no you know places to go do our pumping or things like that. So we talked a lot about how things have changed. And mm -hmm. uh, my general manager at iHeart, Brenda Eggers, came down and she talked about how things have changed and, and, you know, what women bring to the table as far as that goes. More women in managerial. So it wasn't just, you know, gals that are on the air. We had writers. We had behind-the-scenes people. So it was really neat to kind of get all those perspectives and just see how we can do more. You asked great questions of, of her GM. Yeah. Oh, I know. Well, I, I'm always curious because, for me, when people say, well, what's it like being a woman in sports? And I think women are different than men, obviously. And what, for me, at the basis of that is diversity and thought. And so to have women in the managerial position, I asked her a lot about what's it, what do you feel like you bring that may Maybe a man in your same position wouldn't. And, and so there's just important conversation. And I think representation is important in every single aspect of our profession. And, and it was cool for me. I, I'm always pushing, you know, you see a lot of women in the sideline or sideline reporter position, which is what I do. Um, but you don't see a lot of women in the play by -play, play role, the analyst role and managerial role. And so for me, like, that's what I want to push next. And so getting her expertise on that was really, really cool.
Okay, Susie, we don't have enough time. You're just going to have to do a whole show <laughs> with all of them. I mean, really, I, I could it was sit really and fun. listen forever. Well, we had a three-hour so. meeting, and we just, I was like, there's no, it's just open forum. Just start talking. Everybody introduced each other mm -hmm. and just chat. And, I mean, we literally filled it up. We had lunch, and people broke into little groups. You were still talking <laughs> to Bridget. When I left 45 yeah. minutes after the you got after a podcast the ended, now. They were out. Yeah, it was great. It was so fun. Keep doing it. Yeah. And Ariel so came in on a day off to talk about this because we're so glad. I know. Yeah, so, thanks, Ariel. Hey, thank you. Know, you. Ski early in the morning, come in here, talk to these people. What, what a day. What a Beauty, color. What a day. <laughs> all right. Well, watch them all. We love them all. We're super proud of all of you. I, I will get emotional about it. I'm so proud of what women Aww. are doing these days.